Welcome to the Lederach General Store. This historic preservation project involved the extensive restoration of the general store that used to be on this site, built back in the 1700s. Slight sensitive construction of additions were also completed, which resulted in commercial space totaling over 5,700 square feet. This remarkable restoration project in Lower Salford Township is the last critical piece at this intersection, this six-point intersection in Lederach Village, and helps to ensure the historic character of the community. Projects, of course, have been my lifelong work. Uh, I moved here in 59 and almost immediately became involved in construction and built onto my own house and then bought a stone house, another old Lederach farmhouse where our kids grew up about just down the road, two or three houses. And then, of course, in uh, 2002, my sons and I got together and, and uh, bought this property. So it was quite natural that all of us are involved in construction so that we took on this project as, as a family project. It was the pride of this community, you know, moving here when my kids would ride tricycle on Route 113. Uh, in an age when uh, uh, small villages was very uh, unique in this area and that uh, we wanted to keep the pride here. So that's, that inspired me anyway. Keeping the old building has its challenges and one of those challenges of course is elevation. So we had to live with elevations. We wanted to make it accessible, which we did and it finally worked out better if we would lower the floor by seven inches, which means removing the old beams. Uh, the amazing thing about this project was the condition of the wood, old wood and the stone. It's amazing, great condition. If you look at any of the wood that's still showing, including the beams in the, in the uh, roof, they're all in good shape. They're in great shape, as a matter of fact. A lot of uh, the challenges of the, of the building, um, actually every aspect of the building was a, cha <laughs> was a challenge. The, you know, any, anything new in this part, uh, uh, bringing together the, uh, the, the new to the old, um, and, and, and the time involved, I mean, we were here, we were here probably for two years uh, between the demo and uh, the construction of the project. This project was huge. Um, <clears throat> if you saw pictures of before, of the, what the building was, and uh, how much of it we had torn down, and obviously we've kept this part, that uh, challenges were an everyday thing. Well, it was an honor being a, 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 the architect for this project because it, it, it is a family homestead. Uh, started out as a general store. Uh, there was a fire in it, um, like I guess in the early 1800s, um, uh, mid-1800s thereabouts. Um, and some of the restoration, this, this section we're standing in right now is uh, the original structure. And it was added on over the years. And those pieces had grown dilapidated. Uh, and we restored it back to its original uh, architectural uh, style, particularly on the end facing the uh, intersection, uh, the five-point intersection of Letter Rock. And uh, uh, as you come around the bend, it's as you would see it uh, back in uh, the uh, mid to late 1800s. Um, and uh, I'm proud of what the mass have done uh, in honoring the history of the property uh, so uh, that in itself, I think, uh, um, speaks volume for what the Mass family has done uh, to uh, uh, respect the village of Letter Rock and preserve the village of Letter Rock. And uh, I know it's been important to that family as much as it has been, of course, for the Letter Rock family as well. I'm the uh, 
uh, vice chairman of the Planning Commission here in Lower Southford Township. And one area that I think has been underrepresented in the uh, awards and in just architectural recognition in the county are some of our smaller projects and some of our village areas. Uh, over the years, uh, I watched this project take shape and uh, I always thought that they had done a, a wonderful job, not just on the building itself, but also on how they were able to blend in with uh, the existing village environment. And so I thought that uh, they did a great job. Uh, this is something that here in Lower Southford we're very proud of. And so we're, we're very honored that the county has uh, given us the Montgomery Award. Thank you. My name is Rick Mass, and on behalf of my family, uh, my brother Mike, my brother John, and my father John, um, I want to thank uh, Montgomery County for recognition and receiving the 2020 Montgomery Award. Um, for our family especially, it is uh, uh, great to receive that recognition uh, because we've been not only uh, doing this project but living in the community uh, for decades. My family first moved here in 1959 uh, before I was born and we all have memories of walking to the post office uh, in this building as kids. Uh, so it's great to be a part of preserving the history. Um, it's unique to this project. Our project architect Phil Lederach uh, was actually I believe a ninth generation removed from the family that built this building by the Lederach family. So being part of preserving that history is especially important. I also want to recognize and thank our builder, Jack O'Shura, who is here. Uh, and without him, this project uh, would not have turned out the way it did. Uh, we've received lots of compliments, and we laugh now. When we first started the project, people used to shout out their car windows, tear it down. And by the end, they would say, it looks great. So that is a pretty good recognition of the progress of the project. And thank you again, Montgomery County. This remarkable restoration project will continue to be an example of how true collaboration can bring about restorative change in the heart of a community.